Hello everybody, Kixie here, and today I got a tutorial for the Etho Brewer. Uh, so what you see here is the three ingredient brewer, uh, but I'm going to actually be showing you how to make the three, four, and five ingredient brewer. Because once you make the three ingredient, you just add a few layers and you get to the rest. So what the difference is with this brewer is that it has a... Uh, a potion brewer for every single ingredient that you have so as you can see the first one is the primary then you have your secondary and then you have your modifier and then if you have the four or five ingredient brewer you'll have one two or three modifiers or I know some ingredients require uh, a secondary and a tertiary so uh, it just depends on the type of potion that you're going to be brewing. And then as you can see, this is the water bottle refiller right there. So it just steps all the way down and then ends up in your final chest. So let's get right into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to start off with is your button. So you're going to put that on your far right. And you put the button in the front and a torch on the side and a piece of redstone on the top. Now at the back of the redstone you want to place a block, next to that place three blocks and you're going to put repeaters all on four ticks. So that's the starting part, now you want to put your chest over here on the left and we're going to start the stack. So you put your hopper, then you do a brewing stand, hopper off the side of the brewing stand, then just keep going up with however many uh, ingredients you want. So this is just going to be for three ingredients and then we're going to cap it off with the water bottle chest. And now what you want to do is over here at the end of your repeaters put a block and you're going to put a redstone torch in the front and out the back. And then you're going to put a block here and right next to these repeaters you're going to have three more repeaters all on the fourth tick going back. Now out the front of these repeaters you're going to place a block and a torch coming out towards the front and a block on top of that and yet another torch and next to the torch you're going to put a piece of redstone which powers this hopper here and so as you can see this hopper here is powered and now this hopper is powered and then this one is also powered because of this torch and now we're going to bring the power back across to this side with another uh, three repeaters all on the third tick. And then you want to put a end cap block here and a torch out the front. So that's the main basic design. If I press this button you can see that torch goes off then that one. And it just goes back and forth until it reaches the very top. Now I do want to note I have had a few bugs here and there. Uh, one of the bugs I had is uh, right here, if this is, it's either a directional glitch or it is a positional glitch. And so this hopper will give too many water bottles and one of the water bottles are going to get stuck in this which causes a lot of issues because it has awkward potions in here and then one water bottle. Uh, so if you ever have that issue, what it is is the timing is just like one tick off. So you want to remove this torch, put it in the back, put a block on top of the torch, and then you're going to put a repeater here, and you're just going to put a single piece of redstone right next to the chest, which powers this hopper. And then if you're still having the issue, you could of course extend the signal if you want. It just increases the delay of when your potions get finished. But that's if you have that error. If you don't, the other version should work. Uh, it just sometimes has an error here and there. Uh, so if this is the three ingredient brewer, if you want to go up to four, just remove your water bottle chest, add a brewing stand there and a hopper off the side, and then you're going to put your water bottle chest back down. And then you just have to continue the tower. So as you can see, we have a torch coming off the back here. So you want to do the same on this layer. And then you put a block on top of the torch and then you put blocks there 
and we want to return the redstone signal back to the other side. Once it's to the other side, you put a block at the end and the torch coming out the front. Then you have to put a block on top of that and another torch. And then you put the redstone right next to this hopper. And there is the four ingredient burr. And now again, if you just remove the chest, put a broom stand and a hopper and re-add the water bottle chest. Now you just want to bring the power back to this side with uh, the four tick repeaters. And then all you have to do is put the redstone torch out the front and there you have the five ingredient brewer as you can see the timing just goes back and forth until it reaches all the way to the top and of course you can make this however tall you want it but that would kind of defeat the purpose because from what I know five is the most ingredients you can have there might be a few potions out there that use six ingredients uh, so if you do need uh, six ingredients you could just add one more layer as you could have seen how we did the four ingredient brewer, it would be the same as the six because it's the even number. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.